OMAD changed my life and I'm hoping it will change yours. I'm still feeling the physiological long-term effects of eating one meal a day for about a year. In today's video, I'm going to talk about OMAD results, beginner's tip guide. If you're new here, welcome. I lost 60 pounds eating one meal a day and I started my one meal a day journey off at 229 pounds and I used it as a form to help me restrict binge eating. Now, I actually started my overall weight loss journey at 282 pounds with a combination of keto, OMAD, and regular calorie counting. I found the most success on my weight loss journey when I implemented a one meal a day fasting schedule with keto. Now, today we're gonna talk about tips for beginners and commonly asked questions I get. This video is actually inspired by a comment left underneath my live stream, so I thought I would just do a video on it because the questions are excellent. So let's jump right into it. First question, I wanna answer this one. How long did it take you to see results? On my first month of eating one meal a day, I lost 12 pounds in three weeks. And that's what's screwing up, mind you. <laughs> Um, I was struggling real hard with binge eating back then, but I still managed to lose 12 pounds on my first month of OMAD. This was my transformation in my first month, as you can see on the screen. So you can get results very quickly with OMAD. And the thing about OMAD is a pound loss is the quality pound loss. What do I mean by that? Basically, you can see that pound. It's not just a pound on the scale and like you don't notice it in the mirror. You know how sometimes when you lose weight, the weight, the scale drops, but you look in the mirror and you're like, it doesn't look like the scale drop. That's how I felt on most other diets. With OMAD, every time I lost a pound, it showed in the mirror. Even when I didn't lost a pound or I maintained weight due to a plateau, which will happen, on your OMAD journey, but I can't really call it a plateau because you'll look in the mirror and see that your stomach is shrinking and shrinking, even though the scale's staying the same. That happens a lot on your one meal a day journey, especially when you're breaking down to a new low weight. So don't be alarmed. That's why I tell everyone to take measurements around your waist because the waist circumference will tell you that you are guaranteed losing fat. Next question, what did you do when you were feeling hungry? So when I was feeling hungry on one meal a day, hunger with OMAD, I would say lasts the first like three weeks, but it gets better over time. Like each day you get use and use and you get adapted to the hunger. So let that motivate you. And the way I dealt with hunger on OMAD is that I basically had lots of sparkling water. <laughs> sparkling water was my friend. I just drank it all the time because it made me feel full immediately. Now my first month of OMAD, I didn't even have electrolytes. However, I highly recommend that you have electrolytes. I like Element. I started drinking Element. No, I'm not sponsored but I'm obsessed with their electrolytes. Just make sure you're getting electrolytes that are plain. You don't want anything with stevia in it. You just want the sodium, potassium, and magnesium. You can make the electrolytes yourself to be safe because if you have stevia, it will spike your blood sugar and that will not put you in a state of fasting. A state of fasting is being in a low blood sugar state. We wanna be in that low blood sugar state because that's where the metabolic switch happens. And the metabolic switch is basically when your body is signaling to burn excess sugar that is stored within your body as fuel and to burn deep storage fat as fuel. So you don't want to be having any artificial sweeteners at all. Another thing I did when I was hungry is hot liquids, coffee, tea. If you're gonna have coffee, make sure you have it early in the morning because coffee can kind of mess with the scale if you weigh yourself right before you break your fast. But other than that, like, teas you can have any times a day like cinnamon tea was key because cinnamon, cinnamon is a great hunger crusher and uh green tea is great cinnamon tea is also really good for dropping those blood sugar levels so any tea with no calorie in it you're win so black teas caffeinated teas whatever tea you're good to go 
Another thing I also did to help crush my hunger was apple cider vinegar. Like apple cider vinegar is my best friend. Now for you beginners out there, beware, there are apple cider vinegars out there that have sugar. So make sure you're reading the label and it says no sugar in it and it's zero calories. Apple cider vinegar is great. It's gonna help your gut health, which is key in the whole weight loss train. And it's also going to help you crush your hunger and drop that blood sugar even lower. The lower we drop our blood sugar, the more we signal to our body to start bringing up that blood sugar, but with the fat on our body or the excess sugar. So that's what we want to do. When is the best time to break your fast? The best time to break your fast is two to three hours before bed. Here's why. I've mentioned this plenty of times on my channel, but you know what? Repetition is the best way to learn. When you break your fast two to three hours before bed, you are full going into sleeping. So when you're full going into sleeping, you're not gonna risk getting hungry and eating more food after your one meal a day meal. If you break your fast too early, you run the risk of getting hungry hungry. Now, with that being said, there are people who've done OMAD at other times of day. They've been su successful. However, my advice to everyone is to make OMAD work for you. But for me personally, doing in the evening was perfect because again, I didn't have the chance to get hungry and I would literally go right to bed right after eating my meal. Did you experience any symptoms like headache or nausea? I did get headaches for, I would say, about the first couple days of doing OMAD, and then they went away. So what did I do with headaches? I just took an Advil or a Tylenol, and it got rid of it. So headaches will happen, and the headaches could have been contributed to my concussion, but even before my concussion, I started OMAD after getting to an accident. I used OMAD as a tool to help me restrict binge eating. I got into a car accident, hit my head, hit a lot of things. And OMAD was my saving grace through the hell I went through because without OMAD, I would probably be 300 plus pounds right now. No joke. Because when I'm in pain, I eat and then I eat and I eat and I eat. So OMAD was like that self-check system for me to control my eating and to lose the 20 plus pounds I gained in a month from just binge eating. So with headaches, to avoid them, take your electrolytes. That is so important. Um, another thing to do with avoiding headaches is to drink plenty of water. Please make sure you're drinking plenty of water, straight water, not just sparkling water. And over time, the headaches will go away. You should get adapted and be headache free by the end of the week. Now, nausea. Did I feel nausea while eating one meal a day? So the only time I felt nausea while eating one meal a day was when I broke my fast after 23 hours and I ate that meal within a 15 minute eating window, that was too quick because you want to give your body a chance to digest a bit. A good rule of thumb is to break your fast, wait 15 minutes, and then have the rest of your meal. I think eating within a hour eating window, maybe a two hour eating window is probably better because again, it gives your body a chance to just get accustomed to eating again. I personally did, for the majority of my OMAD journey, I did 24 or more OMAD, so I fasted for 20 hours, 21 hours, and I ate within a three to four hour eating window. For me, I think the perfect medium with OMAD is, you know, not eating more than, or less than like an hour eating window, unless you really wanna restrict your calories. But if you're gonna do that, you wanna make sure you're eating that meal and then just waiting 15 minutes or so for things to move along. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, just drop in the word weight loss because we are gonna conquer this and we are gonna change our lives and make things happen. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the fam and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.